Hi, my name is Matt Druno of the Victory Gardens for Peace Initiative. At Victory Gardens for Peace, we are committed to inspiring and supporting a worldwide movement of growing soil, food, seed, and community. We offer our tools, resources, and educational programs to help your community create a more thriving and abundant future. For the next few minutes, I want to share with you something that will inspire you and give you hope. I want to show you how each of us is an important part of a more equitable, peaceful, and sustainable future. And although the challenges ahead are quite massive, the solution is simple, beautiful, and fun. The Victory Gardens for Peace initiative is a project of Ecology Action, a 501c3 nonprofit based in Northern California who for almost 50 years has been teaching people worldwide to better feed themselves while conserving resources and building soil. We work with Ecology Action to teach the biointensive technique, a simple method of sustainable agriculture which enables people to increase yields while decreasing their resource consumption. Since 1972, over 6 million people have been trained directly and indirectly in biointensive agriculture through a global network of community leaders in virtually all soils and climates where food can be grown. At Victory Gardens for Peace, we incorporate this important method of sustainable agriculture with open source community organizing tools and through our programs help communities realize their own power to create a better future. From farmers and gardeners to teachers and community organizers, our resources can help you and your community achieve greater resilience, sustainability, and food security. This is Greenback George. Greenback George is feeling the weight of the world on him as the bad news piles up. What Greenback George hasn't yet realized is that he has the power to actually do something about it. George was taught his whole life that the answers lie outside of himself, that he has to pay someone to invent something new to fix it for him or have faith that a priest, a politician, or an academic will solve his problems. The truth is, we have all the tools we need and we can start today. Buckminster Fuller once said, you never change things by fighting the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the old reality obsolete. This new model is communities working together to achieve greater stability, peace, and resilience, and it starts with local and sustainable food security. Stay tuned to see how Greenback George goes through a personal transformation as he discovers a world of hope, abundance, and peace in his own backyard. This is Detroit. Detroit is an all-American city. It represents the American dream and its struggle, the striving for goals and for civil rights, the rise and fall of industry, and the power of the human spirit to persevere and overcome great challenges. For decades, the automotive industry had its global headquarters in Detroit, creating thousands of jobs and supporting a rapidly growing city. When the auto industry left, the city fell apart. 150,000 people were left unemployed, and over the next several decades, Detroit lost over 60% of its population and now has the highest rate of poverty of all U.S. cities. In the collapse of the city, guns, drugs, and violence became the new economy, but not for everyone. Over the last 20 years, Detroit has become a model of community organizing, stabilization, and resilience. It is an example of how communities can work together and thrive despite the failures of our economy and public policy. It is an example of how the human spirit can persevere and create beauty in the rubble of urban ruin. Today in Detroit, there are over 20,000 residents growing food together in over 1,400 community gardens around the city. Gardens like these have been proven to lower violence and crime by 13%, increase household vegetable consumption from 18 to 84%, lower food insecurity from 31% to 3%, and increase cognition and intelligence, enhancing grades, knowledge, attitudes, and behavior. In addition, contact with a form of bacteria present in healthy garden soil has been shown to improve cognitive short-term function as well as relieve PTSD and depression. We find strength, happiness, and sustenance in our gardens, and in them we reclaim our dignity, find our connection, and take pride in our community. Detroit is a microcosm of the larger challenges we face. As Albert Einstein famously once said, we cannot solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. The old thinking was based on competition and consumption. The new thinking is based on production and cooperation. Let's avoid the rush and start creating a better future together now. If you want to know where to start, 
Look at your local food bank. Look at where poverty is. Look at who is at greatest risk. If we wait too long to make the changes necessary, we will be at even greater risk as the force multipliers of change increase in the future. We don't know what the future will be like, but we know it will change. Why not start creating the future that we want today? Establishing food security is a cooperative process of identifying, conserving, and improving access to our resources. Community resilience is built upon a foundation of food security, equality, and sustainability. This work is held together by our shared commitment and the relationships we cultivate as we foster a greater sense of personal responsibility, ecology, and hope. Food security and community resilience is not something we pay for. It's something we invest in and create together. Remember Greenback George? He dropped his briefcase in horror, feeling overwhelmed and trapped by the challenges of the world. Well, when he gathered himself and picked up his briefcase, he noticed something. In the cracks of the sidewalk, plants were sprouting. Butterflies fluttered about and wildflowers bloomed. It seems that even in the most unlikely of situations, the spirit and life of nature breaks free. In that moment, George forgot about the challenges. And in that little flower, he saw life, beauty, hope, and strength. George felt inspired. The Victory Gardens for Peace initiative is adaptable, scalable, and can be implemented rapidly to help communities find their strength. We have proven that we can achieve local food security while using 67 to 88 percent less water per pound of food grown, 97 to 99 percent less energy, 50 to 100 percent less purchased fertilizer, and we can increase yields two to six times what conventional agriculture achieves and on a closed loop basis. Right now, over 75% of our terrestrial ecosystems have been degraded or destroyed by mechanized forms of agriculture. By 2050, the UN states that this number will be closer to 95%. Using the biointensive method, we can take our food security into our own hands, produce more food on less land and with less resources, and start healing our communities and ecosystems. The result of this work demonstrates that people grow stronger and healthier together. Communities self-organize, neighborhoods become more beautiful and peaceful, and we become less dependent on a resource-intensive, polluting, destructive, and unsustainable system. A community-centered shift towards local food security helps families find stability and security. It builds relationships, creates friendships, brings people together in celebration of the work ahead. The benefits are endless and the work is fun, and each and every one of us is an important part of the solution. This is community resilience. The Victory Gardens for Peace initiative supports communities on their journey towards independence, local food security, and community resilience. We combine education and sustainable agriculture with community organizing and help people develop a plan of action. We are proud members of a global network of biointensive teachers and offer a variety of programs to help individuals and communities learn about sustainable food production, complete nutrition gardening, and the biointensive garden design. We are also the home of the Garden Friendly Community Resolution, a template that communities can use to help establish and strengthen a sustainable home and community garden movement. This resolution can be passed by communities, institutions, businesses, organizations, and governments to bring us all together in support of home and community gardening as a powerful solution forward. Our Garden Corps program trains small teams from communities around the world to become resources in helping organize and establish local food security. The Garden Corps program is a four-month internship training future leaders in biointensive food production, community organizing, and agricultural leadership. In the spirit of William James, Garden Corps graduates are ambassadors for a sustainable and peaceful future and committed to community service. Whatever happened to Greenback, George? George went home and started some seeds. He transformed his yard into a beautiful garden. George no longer feels helpless and insecure. He is surrounded by life and beauty and shares his harvest with his neighbors. All of a sudden, the world seems to have changed for George. He is happier, healthier, and more fun to be around. 
In fact, his neighbors now call him Green Thumb George. Grow, George, grow. At Victory Gardens for Peace and Ecology Action, we know the potential release through empowering oneself. We want to help you and your community because in working together, we can change the world. We know that a better, more sustainable and peaceful future can only be achieved by self-actualized communities working together from the ground up with individuals fully invested in their future. This is the glue that will hold us together. The emergence of a new culture created to protect the greater good. The future is up to us. Let's celebrate the work ahead and enjoy the fruits of our labor. My name is Matt Druno founder of Victory Gardens for Peace and proud member of the Ecology Action Team. I invite you to join us in the work ahead. It is up to us. We cannot wait and we need not because we are the solution we have been waiting for. If you would like more information about our programs, free biointensive resources and community organizing tools, or if you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support this important work, contact Matt at VictoryGardensForPeace.com and visit VictoryGardensForPeace.com for more information about our initiatives and GrowBioIntensive.org for information about our parent organization, Ecology Action. Thank you for your attention. I hope you feel inspired and grow a victory garden for peace.